now let's look at this part of the circuit which is highlighted this part is known as totem pole okay so basically your NAND gate which I have designed over here is a totem pole configuration NAND gate okay we are going to see what is the significance of this totem pole NAND gate okay just look at this let me have only this part okay so only this part is something like this okay now let's see what happens when your output is low okay we know that when my output is low as over here okay your t3 is off and your t4 is on okay so i have my t3 off and t4 on okay now as t3 is off or in other words non conducting okay what i get is almost zero current over here okay so i'm going to say here your i is almost equal to zero since current is zero okay just writing it over here and since your current is almost zero your power dissipation across this rz okay it is very less okay therefore i say when output is low in a totem pole configuration the power dissipation is very low okay power dissipation very low so that can be thought of as a advantage of a totem pole configuration okay i'm just going to write over here we are talking about totem pole configuration okay and you can think of it as an advantage okay now this was when output is low okay when your output is high let's see what happens when output is high okay you have the circuit over here okay what i'm saying is this is high okay when this is high e3 is on no no yeah it's good e3 is on and t4 is off okay you can take a look over here when this is high t3 is on and t4 is off okay so what happens now is this is working in emitter follower mode okay t3 is on and is working in emitter follower mode therefore it gives a very low output impedance okay so i'm going to just write down over here t3 working in emitter follower mode okay therefore whoops therefore output impedance is very low okay output impedance is very low okay therefore your time constant is very short okay hence your circuit speed is very high over here okay so therefore time constant is very low or 